Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about TCP enhancements for wireless networks. This topic is present in the subject wireless network. TCP enhancements for wireless networks. TCP was primarily designed for wired networks. Its parameters were selected to maximum its performance on wired networks where packet delays and losses are caused mainly by congestion. In wired networks, random bit error rate is negligible. In wireless networks, due to handoff or fading, packet loss can occur and it can be random. When TCP responds to packet losses by invoking congestion control or an avoidance algorithm, a degraded end-to-end -end performance will occur in wireless network. Congestion control representation is shown below. This is the representation for the concept of congestion. The packets that are sent from the sender has to reach the destination properly. If minimum number of packets are reached the destination means then because of the congestion most of the packets have been discarded. It is being indicated in this diagram. Condition control representation in internet is shown below. This is the representation. Here, the buffer indicates that the packets that reaches the router. At the same time, so many buffers are reaching the router means due to that congestion may occur. This is indicated here. To improve end-to-end -end TCP performance over wireless links, there are three approaches can be used such as follows. First is end-to-end -end protocols. Second is link layer protocols. The third is split TCP connection control. Let us see the OIC layer representation. We know that OIC layer has seven layers. Out of that, lower layers are also called as the hardware layers and the upper layers are also called as software layers that physical layer data link layer network layer comes under hardware layer similarly session layer presentation layer application layer comes under software layers in between the these two hardware layers and the software layers we are having a transport layer this transport layer is the heart of the OSI model transmission control protocol is available in this transport layer only end-to-end -end protocols end-to-end -end protocols are responsible for the transfer of data from a source to one or more network endpoints they manipulate the received packet in one or more useful ways such as stripping the delivery protocol from a tunneled packet, terminate a high overhead security function. The human protocol and the computer network protocol representation is shown below. Here is a representation. A conversation takes place between two human. This is indicated in this left side. That is, uh, conversation is initiated from one person. It traces the other person. And the other person sends the reply to the first person. And conversation starts between these two persons. Similarly, 
if we consider the computer network protocol means that node as the TCP connection request to the hard disk. Hard disk sends the TCP connection reply and the node sends the code to the hard disk and the corresponding file is being transmitted from the hard disk. This is indicated here. End-to-end -end protocol representation is shown below with the help of a diagram. Here we are having a N system server. The other side we are having a N system client. In between the server and the client, we are having the base station routers and through the routers, the information are being transferred from the server to the client. This is represented here. End-to-end -end protocol representation is shown below. Here we have a representation. The server acts as a sender to the server. So many users, that is clients are connected. This is indicated in this representation. Link layer protocols. Link layer protocols provide local reliability using techniques such as forward error correction and retransmission of lost packets in response to automatic repeat request, that is EARQ messages. Split TCP connection breaks the end-to-end -end TCP connection into two parts at the base station. The one between the sender and the base station and the other between the base station and receiver. That is in between the sender and the receiver, a base station is available in split TCP connection. Conceptual diagram of split TCP is shown below. This is the representation. Sender sends the information to the internet and the base station receives the information from the sender and the base station further sends the information to the receiver through the internet. This is indicated here. Split TCP connection representation is shown below. Here, the end-to-end -end system is divided into two portions. In between the sender and the receiver, we are having that base station. The base station is acting as a buffer here. That is, it is acting as a proxy server. TCP end-to-end -end communication is shown below. Here we are having a source computer and a destination computer. In between that source computer and the destination computer, information transmission takes place through the router. This is indicated here. TCP's performance enhancement. The development of advanced wireless networks such as Wi-Fi, UMTS and WiMAX make it necessary to find ways to improve TCP's efficiency and resource utilization as well as improve the user's experience and reduce latency times. In order to find effective solutions to this effect, packet losses occurs wireless links should be distinguished from congestion related packet losses. One is proxy based mechanism that monitors the radio network interface and sends radio network feedback to the TCP sender with the status of the wireless link. The other one is end to end mechanism in which the packet error pattern is used as the system metric to fine tune the congestion control mechanism. In the end to end, the link layer automatic repeat request, that is ARQ mechanism, is used to improve 
the error rate by TCP. The IS-95 CDMA data stack uses this approach. In link layer, network layer software is modified at the base station to monitor every passing packet in either direction. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means you can share this video to your friends.